morning. But here in the city, many flocked to the Canada Games Complex to check out some diving with Red Bull Cliff Diving star Molly Carlson, who after a wildly successful season, returned to her roots to put on a show in front of friends and family. Kurt Black has the story. Oh, there you have it right there. Typical form by Molly Carlson. Over the past two years, Molly Carlson's love of jumping from high things, as she would put it, has taken the Thunder Bay native all across the world as part of the Red Bull Cliff Diving Series. And on Sunday, the 24-year-old's incredible journey came full circle as Carlson returned to the facility where it all began 14 years ago to pass her inspirational story on to the next generation of local divers. When the Thunder Bay Diving Club called me and said, um, super successful now, Molly, do you mind coming back and maybe sharing your story with the locals? And I was like, I wouldn't want to do anything else. I think to bring it back to where it all started means so much to me. Following the disappointment of not making the Canadian Olympic diving team in 2016, Carlson seriously questioned her athletic future. But upon discovering the world of high diving, it didn't take very long for the Canadian to realize that she had found her calling. That first year was absolutely terrifying. You go from a perfect facility, flat water, flat platform your whole life, to outside on a little rug into three meter waves. You don't know what height you're jumping from. It was such a learning curve that terrified me, but you learned throughout the times that you do it. And the second season was just not effortless, but more comfortable. After bursting onto the scene in her rookie season as a wild card, reaching the podium in all four of the events she participated in, Carlson officially cemented herself as a force to be reckoned with in 2022, as Carlson went head to head with the sport's current queen, Australian Rihanna Ifland. And even though the Aussie would ultimately edge the Canuck in the season standings, that wasn't before Carlson claimed her first career victory when she snapped Ifland's three year run of perfection in Boston. To beat the world number one was just like, it was almost shocking to myself. Like, did I really do that in front of so many people? And it was so special to just prove to myself more and more that that's exactly where I want to be. And after that, it was like, okay, how do I keep getting back to that? And I think 2023 is going to be my year for sure. <laughs> with a seemingly endless supply of positive energy to go along with her world-class talent, the only thing higher than the 23-meter platforms that Carlson dives from may just be her potential. Kurt Black, TBT Sports.